Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in January, I let you know that according to Microsoft, Microsoft 365 apps will no longer be supported on Windows 10 after it reaches end of support on the 14th of October this year, 2025. Now, just to let you know that it seems that Microsoft may have changed its mind because if we head over to Microsoft Docs, Windows 10 enter support in Microsoft 365 apps. The article was updated on the 8th of May. And if we scroll down to this section, it says, although apps such as Word will continue to work after Windows 10 reaches end of support, using an unsupported operating system can cause performance and reliability issues when running Microsoft 365 apps. If your organization is using Microsoft 365 apps on devices running Windows 10, those devices should move to Windows 11. So that's the first half of this. Microsoft still pushing that you go out and buy a new PC or that you upgrade to Windows 11. But here's the important bit. To help maintain security while you transition to Windows 11, Microsoft will continue providing security updates for 365 apps on Windows 10 for three years after Windows 10 reaches end of support. These updates will be delivered through the standard update channels ending on October 10, 2028. So that's three years of extra support. And if we head to another support article, Microsoft has also updated this section. In the interest of maintaining security while you upgrade to Windows 11, we will continue providing security updates for 365 on Windows 10 for a total of three years after Windows 10 end of support ending on October 10, 2028. And I actually think that this is a nice move in the right direction because I think a lot of users are going to be unable to upgrade to Windows 11 due to the strict system requirements as we have been talking about on the channel and not everybody's got the cash just to run out and buy a new Windows 11 PC if you cannot upgrade your existing device. And I think this is due to pressure from enterprise customers because Microsoft is extending support with the ESU Extended Security Updates Program. I'll leave a video link down below for that um, and also in the end screen for enterprises and corporations. So it makes sense that they would extend Microsoft 365 support for another three years and um, to collate with that extra three years with the ESU program. But go check the ESU video out if you'd like some more information. There are pricing details in there and everything else. So just wanted to keep you guys posted because we did post earlier this year and it seems Microsoft has changed its mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.